Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. This is Shanti from Shanti TV. Hello. Thanks for coming back. If you're new here to my channel, welcome. Uh, my name is Shanti and here we mostly talk about handbags. It is one of my loves. Uh, fashion and life and sometimes travel so if you're into those kinds of things uh, please subscribe if you are a returning uh, subscriber thank you for returning and let's talk okay so let's get back to today's video um, as you guys know I purchased the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 in the Emperant cognac color a few months ago and I have pretty much been wearing it non-stop absolutely love it um, and wanted to do a video for you guys to kind of show you the differences between my speedy 25 Emperant and the cognac and my other two speedies that I have in my collection um, there are two bags from Louis Vuitton that I have multiples of um, in my collection and number one is the Neverfull and number two is the Speedies. Uh, if you are familiar with Louis Vuitton, you know that the Neverfull and Speedies are hands down, they're classic pieces that you will see everyone wearing and a lot of people hate that, some people love it. <laughs> Um, I don't really care uh, whether other people have it or don't have it or whatever it is. I just care that it works for my lifestyle. And as long as it works for my lifestyle, I will continue using it. Okay, so if you have been following me for a long time, I mean a long time. I've been on YouTube for a long time, but I took a really, really, really long hiatus and a really long break. But if you have been following me for a long time, you would have known that the very first Speedy that I ever purchased, which I took on my European tour thing that I did uh, a long time ago during my 40th birthday, um, you will remember that I purchased the Speedy 30 in the Damier Abin. Damier Abin. This is the bandolier style. Okay, so it has the um, long strap. Um, I have had this for a very long time. Uh, I have not used it very much uh, recently because I find that I have been, you know, since COVID, to be honest, it's been more about smaller bags for me. I don't like carrying a lot when I'm around town, but obviously when I travel, I like to have the ability to carry more um, just because I'm not at home. So the Speedy 30 has been in my collection probably for over 10 years now. Um, and it's, it's one of my favorites. It's a classic. Uh, I, you know, have hauled it all over the place, <laughs> all over the country. And it, it has held up very, very well. Uh, I have not had really any issues with it. I think the zippers are probably fading a little bit, but other than that, I mean, it's in very good condition and it is something that uh, for now I would like to keep in my collection. The second Speedy that came into my life and into my collection was or is the Speedy 25 in the monogram print. And my goodness, this has been used and abused and loved, <laughs> very, very loved. Uh, and, and again, this has been in my collection for a really long time. I, it's one of my favorite uh, Louis Vuitton handbags because it's small, compact, but still fits a lot. Uh, and so uh, it's just, it's been great. And, and it's a grab and go. It's grab and go. I, I have a top handle if I want to grab and go. I have a long strap if I want to wear it over the shoulder or crossbody. So it is just, you know, it's it's classic okay the third bag that um, the, the third speedy that I purchased that's in my collection is an operant so okay here's the deal Louis Vuitton right they're known for canvas 
Well, Louis Vuitton has decided that they really, really want to step out into the leather uh, area and uh, start selling, or I should say, start pushing leather bags more than they have in the past. Okay, that's great and all, but you know, there are some cons about having leather bags, but we'll get into that later. So I have jumped on the bandwagon and I decided to purchase uh, the Louis Vuitton Speedy B25 in the cognac color. It is beautiful. The reason I purchased it is because of the color. And I knew it was something that I could wear year round. It is just gorgeous. Um, it came out pretty much for the fall, but I feel like I could wear this into spring without an issue. I could wear it in the summer. I could wear it in the winter. I could wear, wear it whenever I feel like it at this point. Yeah, so this is the Speedy 25 in the a beautiful Emperant Cognac color. So let's talk about a few differences between the, you know, canvas and the leather and, you know, some of the difference in sizes. Uh, the first thing that I noticed on this beautiful Speedy that I've been carrying nonstop and haven't put it down is the zipper. Okay, so if you look at this zipper, you can see that it comes down on the sides. All right, this is a newer feature of the Speedies that are, you know, that they have on the leather versions. Um, they also did it on the Speedy 20. I don't think they've done it on the classics yet, but I think they should. <laughs> um, because this is, this makes a difference. So I wanna just kind of tell you what the differences are. So on my Speedy 30, okay, the zipper length, so I, I, I tried to measure only the opening um, and the mouth opening for the zipper. So I didn't include the zipper, I only went from opening to opening. And for the Speedy 30, the opening was 10 and a half inches, okay? On the Speedy 25 in canvas, again, it just goes across, it doesn't go down, okay? On that one, the mouth opening is 8.25, eight and a quarter inches approximately. These are all approximate measurements um, that I'm giving you. And then on the Emprunt Speedy 25, where it goes down on the sides, it's approximately 13 inches. 13 inches. Come, come here. Did you hear what I said? 13 inches. That's a big deal. So it's a big deal to for ease of getting in and out of the bag, and, which is nice. Um, that is one of the main things that I notice about this bag um, in terms of differences, right? The second difference that I notice pretty quickly is the weight, okay? So the Speedy 25 came in at about 24 ounces. The Speedy 25 came in at about 13.75 ounces, and the Speedy 30 comes in, it's very, it was very hard for me to, to weigh that one, came in at about 16 ounces. Okay, so obviously, the Speedy 25 Emperant weighs more. If this is something that bothers you, then I would say Emperant is not for you. Here's what I can tell you about myself, okay? I love Louis Vuitton's canvas because of the weight, because of the ease of use, because of how quickly I can clean it, um, because I can travel with it and not worry so much about it. So getting into the leather pieces is a little bit harder for me, but I do like some of them, right? Um, and sometimes I want a more elevated look so I would say the Speedy 25 Cognac gives me that more elevated look. It, it did exactly what I wanted it to do. But in terms of weight, guys, if, if having, you know, um, a bag that's heavier bothers your shoulder, if you have back trouble, you know, I, I would stay away from the leather and I would just uh, stick with the canvas. So there are some people out there that love the Speedy, squishy, 
look, right? And then, then you have some others that really like that speedy shape that keeps its shape, right? That's kind of more not as squishy, basically, and doesn't hang if you like put stuff in it. Well, there's a couple of different things you can do, right? So on a canvas bags, you can, or any of bags now, I mean, these um, bag inserts have become more and more popular and a lot of people are, are inserting those into bags now um, to number one make sure to keep the interior clean number two for it to keep its shape number three for organization i mean they they do help with organizing what's in a speedy because if you're familiar with louis vuitton speedies they are a black hole um so i i mean i think inserts bag inserts are great I don't always love them because, again, I'm. I, sometimes I don't want to be so fussy. <laughs> and the other thing is, I don't really like the shape of my canvas speedies when I put the bag insert in it. I, I just don't like it. So I prefer not to put those in there. Um, in terms of organization, the best way to keep them organized is to just have smaller pouches in your bag. Um, so in terms of the shape right so you've got the speedies which are more squishy right you've got that canvas squishy look right which is really for me i like it and then you have the speedy 25 in Ompron. and if you look right it's not squishy at all right it's it's holding its shape fairly well yes it it could um yeah, it could lose some of its shape if you're like packing it to the hilt, but not, not like canvas, canvas. That's what I would say. All right, in terms of the construction, I oh, wanted to talk to you about that. So if you look on the Speedy 25, right? It's from, he, from this side to this side, right? It's one piece of canvas all the way around. It's one piece of canvas. And then you've got canvas here and another piece here. On the Speedy 25, look, you've got a seam there, right in the middle, right? So you've got one piece of leather here and another piece of leather here, and then you've got another piece of leather here, another piece of leather here. So in terms of the construction, you've got two pieces of leather versus one piece of canvas for the main body of the bag. Um, I have the older version of the canvas speedies. So you, these chaps here are not puffy. Uh, that on the newer uh, speedies, you will see the chaps are puffy. So on this one, you will see that they are puffy here. Um, one of the other differences that I did notice um, on the Emperant Speedy versus my older canvas is the way the strap works. Okay, so on my um, Emperant, I have um, basically one leather strap. It's a piece here and a piece here. And basically you have the holes here to make it longer or shorter. On my Speedy 25, can see here I can actually remove this okay actually remove this middle piece and just make it shorter by doing this I don't have that option on so I don't have the option to do that on the um, newer speedy um, and I actually use this option on my Speedy 30 quite a bit because I like the way the shorter strap looks when it hangs. And I can't get that same look from my Opera Speedy. You know, it is what it is. If I, let me just make this to the, I have this on the smallest length, let's see. Um, Okay, so I'm, okay, so currently I have it on the smallest length and it hangs quite a bit, which I don't like. I like it hanging, I like, I like it when the strap drops just shorter, like right under the bag. 
So, um, you know, again, that since that bag is heavier, I tend to wear it crossbody a lot. Um, and I just, you know, I don't wear it hand carry. I just, when I'm grabbing the bag, I just like quickly hand carry. But if I'm walking around with it, it's usually um, crossbody. Uh, glazing. Let's talk about glazing. So Louis Vuitton has had issues with glazing. We all know that if we're familiar with that. On the leather bag, okay, you have glazing around the opening of the leather. Okay, so you need to keep that in mind. You have a glazing around the chaps. You have glazing on the handles. You have glazing on the tabs on the side, right? And you have glazing on the leather handle. So you definitely have more glazing. On the canvas bag, you, you have the same, you have almost the same amount of glazing. However, I don't have glazing here because it's just stitched canvas. And so um, I have no glazing there. I have glazing, yep, I have glazing on the sides, I have glazing on the chaps, I have glazing on the handles, um, on the short handles and on the long strap as well. So slightly, slightly less on the canvas. Um, now let's talk about the interior. So in terms of the interior, again, um, on the canvas, okay? And I think it's probably different on the newer ones. I don't have a new one. It's my old one. <laughs> I have one slip pocket. Look, it's the kind that you can pull out. It's just one slip pocket. It's pretty small and in the interior is kind of that like waxy material that um, Louis Vuitton used to uh, have. So I have just one little pocket. And that's it. I don't have a zipper pocket. I don't have anything like that. I, I think it is different on the on the newer ones. Okay, so on the on front, right? I have a slip pocket. Okay, that's open. And then I have a zipper pocket as well in the back, which is a nice size. I have an iPhone 13 Pro, and it fits very nicely into both the zipper and the slip pocket, which is really, really nice. Because if I try to put it in here, which I have, and normally, it, well, first of all, I can't fit it um, horizontally. I have to put it in vertically, so it sticks out on the top, which isn't great, right? But, um, and then you can't zip your bag. So, you know, that's one of the things about the interior. In terms of what fits, Okay, so this is the biggest wallet that I have, okay? Um, it's the longest wallet that I have. Um, this is the Clements uh, wallet. It's smaller than a Zippy wallet. Um, in height, it's smaller. But um, this is the biggest one I have. So I just wanna show you that in the speedy, 25 emprunt again because it comes down on the sides right I can easily put this in there's like no big issue I can let just put that in no big problem okay again here's something else that I might carry it's a mini pochette put that in no issues I hope you guys can see this it kind of looks like a black hole to me but okay um, the other, the other thing that I have is a zippy wallet, obviously fits in here with no problem. Okay, so here's my key clay, that obviously fits. I did want to show you, here's my phone, it's one of the more important ones. I want to show you that I can just slip it in this back slip pocket, it literally fits like perfectly. Okay. I can also fit it into the zipper pocket in the back. Fits with no issues. So I really love that um, about the zipper 
and the slip pocket. I think they did a really good job in terms of the size. And then here's a bottle of water. Very easily fits inside. It's getting heavy though, guys. <laughs> but you can easily fit all those things inside. So the Speedy 25 in short, Empreinte versus Canvas is really up to you. I will tell you this. I have looked at the Speedy 20. I find it to be adorable. The one thing I don't like is that it doesn't come with a leather strap as well as the um, cloth strap. That, it's like that sporty strap. I really love the sporty strap, but I really would want to add a leather strap to the Speedy 20. And I honestly feel like the Speedy 20 could probably hold a pretty good amount. Um, so I have some thoughts about, you know, that bag in terms of at wanting to add it to my collection. If I did, I would most likely get rid of my Speedy 25 because uh, I don't feel like I would need both. Um, I would really just want one or the other. Uh, I don't want to grow my Speedy collection. <laughs> Um, I think three right now is enough. I would love to see them do a Speedy 20 and Damier a bean. I think it would be really cute, really practical. I had wanted to add a Speedy 25 and Damier a bean to my collection, uh, but I never did do that. I held off on that. Um, and, you know, I wore my monogram Speedy 25 to death, really. Um, it is probably the, one of the main bags that I have carried in the last several years just because it's smaller and it's light. Um, I haven't put down my uh, Cognac Emprunt uh, Speedy because I just, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful to look at. All right, you guys, so that is all I have today for my Speedy 25 Emprunt Cognac versus my Speedy 25 um, in uh, canvas. And then of course my OG uh, Speedy 30 in Damier Abine. I think she needs another look because she's so pretty. And she's got that beautiful red interior, right? Um, I know, oh, I know in the Speedy 20s they've got that red interior as well, which I like. So we'll see, we'll see if I add that to my collection. But like I said, if I do add that to to my collection, then one of these gotta go. And it ain't gonna be the new guy, and it ain't gonna be the OG. It's probably gonna be my Speedy 25, because I don't want two monogram Speedies in my collection. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, again, if you are enjoying my videos, please subscribe uh, and comment below. Let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. See ya, um, until next time.